three-year plan encompasses three concepts. It hit the ground running. The first year, you got to, you know, you got to have your plan in place. You got to do the macro cuts. You got to figure everything out. And but you got to hit the ground running. That means you have to do a lot of planning ahead of time. So the first year, I went through the garden on my own. You know, after we had some workshops up, but I went through on two days and then did a lot of pruning, trying to solve some problems. But at the same time, I knew I was going to come back for one more year and to see the reaction of the tree. So I went through yesterday, and every tree came out good. You know, there was no dieback, no massive you know, structural surprises. So we can continue. So this year is the cruise in the middle phase. You know, it, it's the, you just look at the tree, evaluate, it looks good, and you just continue. There's not like a lot of massive planning. It was already planned from the first year. We take this, this, this out this year, and then ne next year we'll do that, that, that. Now that we're next year, we do that, that, that. Next year we should have a, a, a even though this is a maple, we should have a structure like this. No more knuckles. It's still dense, and, and then you start coming back and you want to take out like. This is what coarse to fine means. You keep the coarse one, go to fine, and you take it out right here. Mm. You take this piece out. Over here, I might have redundancy. One, two, three, I'll take the big one out. And you go to these two. Then you see here, you, know, you have two the same. Take one or the other, doesn't matter. You know, now we're getting into the art or the judgment of the pruner. And then, that means you close fast. You know, it means you, you just you take care of these things and then you got a, the perfect branch scenario that, that'll last you for a lifetime. So I feel most people fail because a lot of them start with no plan. Jump in there and then this thing fails real quickly. So in my mind, in my career, I always had the conclusion before I started. You work toward it and then if all goes well, you complete it and then get out. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get the trees set up so that they are back to something that it's workable and it's, it's going to be timeless and in the long run it saves you maintenance because you're not the pruner all the time. You whack it all the time, it's going to grow all the time and you got to keep cutting off the new growth. If you get coarse to fine, fine gets finer and finer and finer, pretty soon you don't have to prune it anymore. A prune it only as necessary. And you need a smaller tool, you don't need a chainsaw, you're not using gas, you're not polluting the air. You know, there's, there's a lot of uh, sustainability with doing good pruning.